in the know of what's going on and how our budget is going to move for the month of March, I said, okay, while I'm filming, let me go on and film March's budget for you guys. So, like I told you guys in the last um, paycheck video, we were going to start doing things different in March just because I wanted to do more shorter videos for you guys. I feel like a budget shouldn't take all, no more than 10 minutes to go over. So, real quick. You're going to see it over here as well, and I am going to be looking at my notes because I do keep notes. So to for the March budget, we're going to start with the to-do. So for the to-do, I have to put something on the vacation, which is typically $75, $50. I think this month is $74. Buy B-Day gifts. I did budget that into the budget. Pay on after pay. The goal. The goal is to save, do minimal eating out, and do low buys. So, um, I wanted to finish my bathroom downstairs, but due to their birthday gifts this for March and April, and I need to finish that, I want to do one task at a time because I don't want to overwhelm myself. So, because of that, I'm going to get their birthday gifts out the way, and then in April, I should be resuming finishing my downstairs bathroom because I, I thought it was almost finished. I went with wallpaper and then I decided that I didn't want the wallpaper, that I wanted a different type of style and I wanted the style that's actually in my office. So I am going to be doing it different. So our savings and sinking funds. So the household is, the household fund will be getting 175. The personal savings will be getting 664. The emergency rainy day fund will be getting 200. The Christmas fund will be getting 50. Now, what I'm thinking is with my personal, I think with my personal savings, I think I'm going to take 100 and put it towards the car fund. So the car fund, so my personal savings will actually be getting $554. Or you know what? It might just be getting $500 because I think I am going to take um, $164 and put it towards the car fund. So our total income for the month is $4,564. The total bills and expenses is $3,430. What's left over is $45. So for the month of March, we have our rent. And now we finally know what our rent went up to. Our rent went up to from $978 to $1,001. That's still not bad. I'm not bad. I'm going to get them their money. Four bedroom house. <laughs> two and a half bath. Two car garage. Townhome. Detached. I'm good. Paying them that money. Um, Just energy. $250 and that is just a rough estimate it may be cheaper than that but that is what I as that's what I budgeted for um Xfinity Mobile 378 that bill should be going down in maybe a month or two it should be going down Xfinity Internet $71 Centerpoint 56 uh Canva $14 car insurance $219 Capital One credit card, 25. Capital One Silver, 25. Capital One Savoy, 25. Mission Lane, 25. YouTube, $22. Vacation, 74. After pay, 200. Nails, 100. So, the reason I have nails on there is because I am going to go get my feet done. Because I cannot do my own feet. And they use a the gel polish. And when they do it, it looks so neat and it looks so pretty. And it, I just love cute feet. I have big feet, so my feet have to be cute because they're big. And uh, the other 50 is going to go to the gel nail kit that I'm going to buy on Amazon so I can start doing my own nails. Right now, I'm just painting my nails, but I would like to be able to do my own nails as far as the uh, uh, um, fake tips. Um, myself, I am paying myself $528 for the month of March. Not sure if I'm going to use all of that, but that is what I'm paying myself. The Apple Watches, um, we're paying the insurance on the Apple Watches, that's $11. Uh, B-Day gifts, we're putting $200 towards the B-Day gifts. Afterpay, I don't know why I have Afterpay on here twice. But that shouldn't be Afterpay. What that should be is the rent um, for next month. I'm taking $200 from, one of the, from uh, the paycheck and taking it over to April. 
So 200 of that is going towards the April's rent. So I don't, yeah. So like I said, that was quick, easy, and painless. And I'm going to go in there and adjust um, my savings because I don't, for me, it works for me to just have the money automatically go to the accounts. I don't touch it. I don't see it. It automatically goes. And that just works better for me. So that is what we're going to do. I am going to um, go set it up real quick to where probably each month $150 just goes straight to the car fund. And we keep it like that. I just think that works better for me. So I am going to get out of here. Remember to think smart. Spend smarter, have fun planning it all out. Um, I hope you guys like the way we're starting to do our budget in March. Um, at the end of the month, we will do a budget breakdown. We will talk about if there was any money left over, if there was any money transferred. Um, we will give balances on uh, credit cards, how they started and what they're ending like at the end of the month. Um, so we have a few things. Um that we will be sharing at the end of the month. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.